So we all know that Ryan has a magical secret to work-life balance, and I want to make a video about it. I was wondering if you guys would be able to give me like one sentence descriptions of him to establish his credibility. Well, first of all, he's a freaking clown. Optimistic as hell, and your best friend the day you meet him. Um, he's just one of the most genuinely good people that I know. On the real, he is so genuine, so unbelievably talented, and the kid's a nut. Can't say anything bad about him. Awesome, guys. Those are perfect. I'm going to call Ryan right now and see if he's down to make this video. My name's Ryan Taylor, and I'd have to say I've got sort of a bluegrass soul is the best way I can describe it. And what I mean by that is it's not pop. It's not meant for the masses. Yeah, I, I see a lot of times when people get together, like the first question someone asks you, right, is what do you do for work? What do you do? While that is a big part of our identity, it's not always who we are. I mean, we have a whole nother life outside of work. A few people know me through my work and what I do, but I'd say most people know me through my chalkboard van, to be completely honest. And I know it's just a thing, it's just an item, it's just a car, but I've made a lot of friends because of that vehicle. There, there's a story behind it, right? Let's see, I got it in 2015, so six years now. Bought it with a buddy of mine, Mason, and we were Torn around Colorado selling our artwork when I was 18. The reason I really like the chalkboard paint on the van is like when I first put it out, nobody really stops by for a while. But then one person decides that like, okay, this looks cool. I want to express myself somehow. And they start drawing on it. And then immediately after, tons of people will just show up and start following suit. So it's kind of cool to see how a movement like that starts, basically. It goes from no one really wanting to do it to all of a sudden people talking and getting to know each other. It evolves. Yeah, it's funny, because growing up, right, I, I lived in Texas for a while. Country music down there is huge. Um, and I always despised it for whatever reason. But when I moved to Gunnison, Colorado and started immersing myself in the, the rich history we have with people almost saying screw it to the rest of society and packing up and moving out here, like it's, it's really inspiring. And so I think the, the country western, the, the bluegrass piece, if you will, uh, of my soul, let's call it, that I, I didn't know I had um, sort of evolved when I, when I did go to college and move to, to the middle of nowhere. It's so raw and so real, and it is a, a spirit of, of figuring it out, right? What I see, especially on the internet, is like this romantic idea of quitting your job, and it's sort of like, go out on your own, right? Just because you've, you've left and, and went to go do something on your own doesn't automatically guarantee you success. And neither does staying in a job that is totally soul-sucking and you're just doing it just to amass more things and more money. Your, your soul and your uniqueness and your individuality can coexist with also having a means to survive, you know, to put food on the plate for yourself or your family or whatever. They don't have to be separate. They can coexist together. But I think part of that too is just from viewing the world, like the chalkboard van. It fills up. Sometimes the drawings aren't as good as the last batch. And then it's wiped clean and you start over again. <laughs> 